हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑन माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स डीजे गणित इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट लिमिट कंपैरिजन टेस्ट इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस डायरेक्ट कंपैरिजन टेस्ट टू डिटरमाइन द कन्वर्जेंस ऑफ इम्प्रॉपर इंटीग्रल सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस वॉट इज लिमिट कंपेरिजन टेस्ट एंड यूजिंग दिस टेस्ट हाउ वी कैन डिसाइड द कन्वर्जेंस ऑफ सम टाइप ऑफ इम्प्रॉपर इंटीग्रल्स so suppose we are given some improper integral say integral from a to infinity fx dx and uh, suppose this function f is positive on closed interval a to infinity as well as it is continuous on closed interval a to infinity now in limit comparison test we have to choose or we have to select some another function say gx which is also positive on closed interval a to infinity and continuous on closed interval a to infinity such that we know about convergence or divergence of this improper integral so in limit comparison test also Uh, we have to select some another function whose convergence on the interval is known to us now once we select uh, this uh, another function gx then in limit comparison test we have to determine limit of fx over gx as x tending to infinity so here gx is positive on closed interval a to infinity so gx will never be zero and therefore this limit is defined so if the value of this limit is say capital l and if this l is positive and finite then if this improper integral is convergent given improper integral is convergent and if selected improper integral is divergent given improper integral is also divergent so limit comparison test says that if limit of fx over gx as x approaches infinity is positive and finite then these two integrals either converge or diverse together that means if selected improper integral is convergent given improper integral is convergent and if selected improper integral is divergent given improper integral is also divergent so uh, if we want to use limit comparison test then uh, we have to select another function gx and uh, we have to check what is this limit if and we will uh, we can apply this test if the limit is positive and finite so we first uh, have written what is limit comparison test if the positive functions f and g are continuous on closed interval a to infinity and if limit of fx over gx as x tends to infinity is capital l where l is positive and finite then integral a to infinity fx dx and integral g to a to infinity gx dx both converge or both diverge together that means if selected improper integral is convergent given improper integral is convergent if selected improper integral is divergent given improper integral is divergent so now we understand this uh, limit comparison test with the example suppose we want to check whether this improper integral is convergent or not so here given function is 3 over e raised to x plus 5 so let fx equal to 3 over e raised to x plus 5 and interval of integration is close open interval 1 to infinity 
now we have to select another function gx such that we know about its convergence on this same interval so suppose uh, we here our function is 3 over e raised to x plus 5 so it uh, it seems that it behaves like uh, this function 1 over e raised to x so we can try using this 1 over e raised to x as the function which we will uh, compare with the given function so suppose gx is 1 over e raised to x x belongs to close open interval 1 to infinity and it is clear that both f and g are positive and continuous on the interval 1 to infinity so clearly f and g are positive and continuous on close interval 1 to infinity so now we find out limit of fx over gx as x approaches infinity and we check what we are getting fx is given function 3 over e raised to x plus 5 and gx is 1 over e raised to x so this we can rewrite as 3 over e raised to x plus 5 into e raised to x by 1 that is e raised to x now if we consider x tending to infinity we know that e raised to infinity is infinity here also e raised to infinity plus 5 that is infinity so this is infinity by infinity form so we can apply l hospital rule to find out this limit so this we consider derivative of numerator and denominator separately derivative of 3 e raised to x is 3 e raised to x and derivative of e raised to x plus 5 is e raised to x plus 0 so this is by l hospital rule and uh, e raised to x is non-zero so e raised to x will cancel out and we have limit of 3 as x approaches infinity which is 3 because 3 is constant so this limit is positive and finite which is positive and finite so if integral of gx on 1 to infinity is convergent given improper integral is convergent and if integral of gx on 1 to infinity is divergent given improper integral is divergent and we have discussed uh, convergence of this improper integral suppose we want to check whether integral of gx on this interval is convergent then we can see this is improper integral of first type let me check gx is 1 over e raised to x so that is fine so here uh, we can use the definition of type 1 improper integral upper limit we replace by t and here we consider limit as t tending to infinity and here i can write e raised to minus x so now we find out uh, this is nothing but integral of e raised to minus x is e raised to minus x into minus 1 that is minus e raised to minus x and limit is x is from 1 to t so now this is going to be limit t tending to infinity first we put x equal to t so minus e raised to minus t minus minus of e raised to minus 1 so minus minus plus and e raised to minus 1 now if we consider limit as t tending to infinity here we will have minus e raised to minus infinity and this is 1 over e it is independent of t so limit of e raised to minus 1 is e raised to minus 1 and e raised to minus infinity is 0 Okay, so we obtain 1 by e so therefore 
uh, integral is convergent because this uh, this is finite real number so improper integral 1 to infinity gx dx is convergent by the definition of improper integral and we have seen that limit of fx over gx as x tends to infinity is positive and finite and this integral is convergent so therefore by limit comparison test integral of fx over 1 to infinity is also convergent so in this way we can use limit comparison test to check the convergence of given improper integral what we have to take care is uh, we will select the function gx in such a way that limit of fx over gx as x tends to infinity is positive and finite we consider one more example test the convergence of integral 2 to infinity of the function x over square root of x raised to 4 minus 1 so here uh, first we write down what is given function we denote by fx let fx is nothing but x over square root of x raised to 4 minus 1 and interval of integration is close open interval 2 to infinity so we have to apply limit comparison test and uh, uh, we can observe that uh, this function behaves like this we can approximate as x over uh, if i consider uh, if i ignore this negative sign then i can write as x over square root of x raised to 4 which is x square and uh, here we obtain 1 by x so from this we can have the rough idea that given function can be compared with 1 by x so we select gx as 1 by x so let gx is considered as 1 by x x belongs to 2 to infinity so here x starts from 2 so there is no problem we will not have 0 in the denominator because x is running from 2 to infinity so gx remains positive on this interval also we can see here uh, x starts from 2 to infinity so fx is also positive so clearly both f and g are positive and continuous on close interval 2 to infinity so we can apply limit comparison test are positive and continuous on close interval 2 to infinity so now we check what what is limit of fx over gx as x approaches infinity so function fx is x over square root of x raised to 4 minus 1 and gx we have selected as 1 by x so this we can rewrite as limit x approaches infinity this x will go in the numerator here we have square root of x raised to 4 minus 1 and here we will have x square so as x tends to infinity this is infinity by infinity form so we can go by l hospital rule or uh, we can consider division of numerator and denominator by x square suppose i divide numerator and denominator by x square so this uh, square root of x raised to 4 minus 1 over x square so this we can rewrite as here we will obtain 1 and uh, x square can be written as 
square root of x raised to 4. So, if I take x square in the square root, it will be x raised to 4. And x is non-zero, so here we are able to cancel out x square because x is non-zero. In fact, x starts from 2 to infinity. So, this uh, now this becomes limit x tending to infinity 1 over 1 minus 1 over x raised to 4. Here also we have cancelled out x raised to 4 because x is non-zero. Now, if we consider limit as x tends to infinity, limit of 1 is 1, limit of 1 here is also 1 and this is going to be 1 by infinity that is 0. So, finally, we obtain 1. So, it is positive and finite. So, therefore, limit of fx over gx is 1 and uh, we have to mention that which is positive and finite. So, now we check the convergence of selected improper integral which is 2 to infinity gx dx and uh, gx which we have selected is 1 by x dx. Uh, let me check the interval. Interval is from 2 to infinity gx is 1 by x. So, this we can decide convergence of this integral using the definition. Uh, we can replace upper limit by t and uh, here we consider limit as t tending to infinity 1 by x dx. So, this we can write as limit t tending to infinity. Here integral of 1 by x is log mod x, x is from 2 to t. So, now we put x equal to t and x equal to 2. So, this is logarithm of absolute value of t minus logarithm of absolute value of 2. Now, t is tending to infinity. So, t is positive. So, therefore, logarithm of absolute value of t is logarithm of t and 2 is also positive. So, this is log 2. Now, if we consider t tending to infinity, we have log infinity minus limit of log 2 is log 2, it is independent of t. So, this is now infinity minus log 2 because log x tends to infinity as x tends to infinity or log t tends to infinity as t tends to infinity. So, this is infinite. So, this value of this improper integral is infinite. Therefore, this integral from 2 to infinity gx is divergent. So, integral of selected for improper integral is divergent. Therefore, uh, we can say that by limit comparison test, integral of fx over 2 to infinity, fx is nothing but it is x dx over square root of x raised to 4 minus 1. So, this improper integral is also divergent. Okay, so, this is another example which shows the application of limit comparison test to check the convergence. All we have to decide is whether this limit is positive and finite if gx is selected properly and we must uh, be able to decide the convergence of selected function also so that we can decide about the convergence of given improper integral. So, here in this lecture we have discussed how we can apply limit comparison test to check the convergence or divergence of given improper integral. So, I hope you like this lecture. Thank you very much.